Hi everyone, my name is Estresbol and today I am going to teach you guys how to draw letters with perspective. So as you can see here we have some text and it looks 3D. So I am going to explain how to do that. Step 1. We do need some text, so I am going to draw the text of my channel. There we go, I kept it a bit simple because I don't want to waste too much time on this. So the next step is going to be taking a slightly darker color, uh, let's save it to the colors as well as this color just to make sure if we need it again. Okay, so a simple trick to do perspective is by adding a dot, uh, like this, and then draw some helping lines for yourself. So from where should the helping line start? You're gonna look at the edges and the corners of the letter R. And uh, let's just mark the corners here. One right here, one right here. There we go, we marked all of the corners. Next thing we need to ask ourselves, what lines are going to be behind the R? So let's just draw some helping lines uh, going towards the circle. Make sure that you'll point them all towards the circle. So as you can see, there are a few lines that actually go through the red space. Those lines are not necessary. For instance, this one, it's completely unnecessary because you can't see it. It would be a bit weird to make shadow over here because it's behind the R. So if we finish it and we just move it back there, it's not gonna have any effect. You can't see it, so you don't have to draw it. This one, for instance, uh, you can definitely see it. So that's how you make a distinction between what to draw and what not to draw. There are a few more lines like this. We're talking about this spot right here, this one, and this one. Because as you can see, the lines are all going behind the R. And we don't want that. So now only the spots that you can see when you add shadow remain. So let's start drawing some helping lines again. These are the lines that connect um, the letter R to the perspective of it. And uh, the only thing we now need to do is make sure how long we want our perspective shadow to be. Let's select another color, uh, color red. And let's say I want all of the shadow to be about this long. We're just gonna make a shadow that is this long. And we're gonna take the R, um, make it a lot darker, give it some opacity. And place, um, we, we have a dot here and this one should be away exactly the length of the distance that we chose. I hope it's not too complicated, but as you can see, it's this far away. Now if I move it back there, it actually has a kind of shadow effect. The problem with this though, is that over here, we have another helping line than over here. So on this corner, the shadow should be about over here, I think. So as you can see, it's not possible to do this with one shape, so we have to draw another one all over again. Let's try to do that with the help of the helping lines. We're gonna start here with the distance that we picked. We're gonna go up. Um, we're gonna do that by following the shape of the R. So uh, it's going right up, so we're going right up too. And then we'll interact with this helping line right here. Uh, make sure to pick the same distance. And then we're gonna go over there. And as you can see, We've got a helping line here, helping line there, and a helping line there. And the distance is exactly the same every time. Well, not exactly, uh, kind of, but that's fair enough. Now, finish your shape by drawing it over the R and close it off. Next thing you do is hold control, press the down button. And now we made shadow. Let's finish it off by giving it this distance and follow the shape of the R. Go behind there. And boom, there we go. So that is how perspective works. We're gonna try another one, and this time without the help of the helping lines. Okay, let's just remember that this, the, the, the spot that we're drawing towards is located right here. So that needs to be clear. Now if we go to the T, and uh, keep in mind that this was the distance, and this is the spot that we are aiming for. We're gonna do this. Aim it towards the place where the circle used to be. And that way, this is going to the circle, this is going to the circle, distance is a little bit longer this time, uh, should be a bit shorter. I'm gonna take this one as well. You can just move that behind there. And remember, if there is no point 
uh, with a helping line. For instance, over here. This is a very long part where there is no helping line. This is just a curve. Just make sure to follow the shape of the T. So this and this should be about the same. So as you can see, I kind of messed that up. It should look a lot better. And there we go, that's a bit better. So that's pretty much the way perspective works. You just gotta make sure that all the shadow is aiming towards that one circle and that you keep the same distance every time you draw shadow. Now if we take a look back at the different heaven logo, that's kind of what happened here. Um, I wasn't really accurate, but you can kind of see what happened. This is about the point where everything is aimed towards. So this right here, this, this helping line is kind of going there. It's a bit under it. This one is going under it, but kind of going there. It's going over it. They're all aimed towards that circle. Here's a nice example. You can see that there's a point right here and all the buildings, all the lines are working towards that point. So there's the 2D objects like this door and then it's made 3D by going towards that line and everything is going there and that causes the effect of perspective. Now I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, it was hard to explain. I hope you liked it and I'll see you next time.